Chicken here, bring you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over the chicken task force, the chicken coop as a whole, and uh, do a bit of a, like a player spotlight kind of thing, and just go over um, some of our recent OPs and uh, everyone who uh, who contributes really well. We're going to go over uh, just kind of like a little player profile. Shout out to the task force; uh, they've been doing an awesome job lately. So, wanted to show some love to the task force, guys. Um, I'm going to get into an unboosted operation attack after this. Uh, we just have like a couple cleanup attacks left, but um, uh, let's take a look at exactly where we are on the leaderboard. We just hit, um, I think it was a new personal best of 248 if I'm not mistaken. So you see right there, we're just outside the top 250. Um, see right there, 223, so that's actually a lot higher than I thought. So obviously, uh, we're going to have to step it up a little bit if we want to get into um, like the top 50 or whatever. Now you see here, there's actually one team there that lost all of its players. So uh, shout out to the shout out to the bandwave on that one. Um, so you see, we'll, we'll check out these guys right here. They're doing choke point. Um, obviously, 37%. They're just farming force points. And this is kind of annoying because, like, the thing about 10 man and the leaderboard, it's it's not about like. In my opinion, like, yeah, of course you have to do really skilled attacks to, to farm force points on choke point dead end, stuff like that. But, I mean, it's it's more of, like, an intel grind, in, in my opinion. Like, it's not necessarily about who's the most skilled. It's, like, who has the guys that can bring in the most intel is a huge part of it. So, we're going to start off with, um, oops. Who are we going to go over here first, guys? We'll go over Kai first. And Kai is, uh, Kai is one of our best guys. And he's, he's, he has two accounts, I believe. I'm not sure if they're both in here right now. They look to be. So we got Kai Lucen and Kai Ludwig. And he's like our top intel earner all the time, which is awesome. I'm not sure if he runs any ice. Um, I, I guess he's just, okay, he doesn't have any ice. So I guess he's just super active. So we'll try to find a Kai hit here. And, um, and yeah, we got him right here. A nice solo from, uh, from Mr. Kai. So he's got Conveyor. Now, Conveyor can be kind of annoying to attack, um, depending on the layout. This one doesn't seem too bad because we've got, um, like, sometimes you'll get rock launchers on the right side. So, we'll speed it up a little bit here so the video isn't too, too crazy long. Okay, sorry about that. We kind of lost um, lost connection there for a second. But, uh, anyways, guys. Anyway, so we got Kai going in here. I'm going to show this attack. And, um, and yeah, like I said, Kai is one of our best, uh, well, he is the best intel earner by far. So, it's really nice to have... Uh, someone like that in your task force that's able to get all those uh, stupid little blue fa blue flags that just make it a lot easier for everyone else. So a bit of a, a bit of a, a bit of a chicken walk, bit of a chicken walk for Mr. Kai here. We'll see where he gets the shocks out. Uh, one, two, three, four. So I guess um, usually I go on the left side here. So maybe that's why I, I find this uh, conveyor. Uh, maybe that's why I suck at it because I just attack it from the wrong angle every single time. Um, yeah, he did that fairly easily. So shout out to Kai there, guys. And next, we're going to move on to uh, to Bob, also known as Jim. So I guess everyone in our task force has two accounts, apparently. Um, so I'm pretty sure Jim is also Bob. And Jim is famous for having uh, an insane amount of troop damage. I think he used to have... Uh, I think he had six when he originally came. It was five or six. He had like over 150. I think he just recently got rid of one. But uh, he, he just came up from, chip, from chiclets, excuse me. And uh, he's just been an awesome addition. He's been really nice to have... Um, like I said, he's he, he has a lot of damage, so he, it's uh, it, it's really good to have like a little bit of variance in, in the, the the players in your task force and their statues. Like sure, I mean for the for the for the operations that re we run, uh, like Foxtrot and stuff, like you could do like any kind of combination. You could do like three seven five five six four, um, and 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 probably do okay. But uh, it, it it does it, it is nice just to have different kind of combinations here. Um, so you see there, he's he's got a massive amount of GB. He was able to get one, two, three, four, five shocks off, and I think two buckets of critters, and he just melts this core. Like, he just absolutely blasted right through that. Um, so that's Jim, and that's also Bob. That's the same guy, I'm pretty sure. So Mad Mac. Mad Mac, um, Mad Mac is great. He's been around for a very long time. Um, I, I feel like he was one of the first people to join. I'm not sure. I might be confusing him with Harry. Um... I'm not sure if Harry's actually in the task force. I think he just left. But shout out to Harry. He's been with us for a long time and did some really good work um, at the beginning of the getting the getting the task force going, which was actually really tough uh, in in the beginning. We were running like seven guys, and most of them weren't like max level players. So it was it was definitely tough to get going. It's hard to get a task force going for sure. Um, but Mad Mac is definitely prone to doing um, a couple chicken fails here and there, guys. Um, but I mean, like I I don't care. Like that, that that kind of stuff doesn't matter to me. Like. If you fail an attack, like, 
I failed so many attacks myself, I know exactly how it feels. Like, it, it sucks more for the person doing it than it does for the task force, in my opinion. So, see right there, he pulls a chick and he pops the shock mine, but he was able to, uh, he was able to, um, what's that word? Compress? No. Um, when you, like, hold it together well, you know what I mean. He, he was able not to freak out, and, uh, he, he, like, made the attack keep going. Holy jeez, chicken. Talking is hard, apparently. Um... But yeah, like I said, like, I, I don't care if someone fails an attack or anything. Like, I do it so often that, like, <clears throat> I, I, I feel sorry for the guy more than I would be, like, mad at the, at the task force. And, um, that's kind of more how I look at, at the task force is, um, it's, it's more about, like, having fun and having, like, good guys in your task force as opposed to having, like, a bunch of pricks that are just, like, really good. But, um, are, like, super annoying and, like, whiny to play, play with. Uh, shout out to Angry Outcast on that one. <laughs> um... But you know what I mean? Like, I'd rather have guys that are fun to play with as opposed to are, are like, super good and, like, really annoying to play with. Because it's, it's, it's a game at the end of the day. And, like, um, and um, <clears throat> like you, you want to have more fun playing than just feeling like uh, you have to perform or whatever to, uh, like, to live up to your, to your task force standards or something like that. Like, that just gets annoying after a long time. And, um... Yeah, so next up, next up we got Vuvu, and I think Vuvu joined about, uh, I want to say halfway through, sorry if I get that wrong, but, um, I feel like it was about halfway through, uh, we got set up here, and Vuvu's been really good, I'm not sure if he has one or two accounts, but, um, uh, I, I think it's just the one, I think it's just the one, it's, it's hard to tell, because I feel like half of my task force, like, is only, like, three guys on, like, a bunch of different accounts, um, but yeah, Vuvu's been really good, uh, not a whole lot to say, I guess, um, I'm not sure what exactly what kind of statues he has. Uh, he, he might have he might have pulled the chicken and snuck in unboosted there. And then we have Mr. Poing, guys. So everyone knows Mr. Poing from he's he's famous in the Boom Beach community. Uh, everyone knows him, a bit of a legend um, for having what is it like the 19 or 21 percent um, a GBE masterpiece statue, and he, he's had it for like ever since he started the game. I'm not sure exactly how long he's been playing the game for. Um, I showed these attacks at Aura. I should have shown the first one first, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> this this might be a hashtag point fail on this one, guys. But uh, he, he's definitely famous in the community for um, never being able to get a good uh, GBE Masterpiece statue. And I kind of know what that's like. When I started out, I had uh, a 28% uh, Masterpiece for the longest time. Like, it was months and months and months. Uh, it was actually exactly six months, because at six months, I went from uh, a 28 to a 42% which I was super excited about. And since then, I've probably crushed three 42% and just this week I crushed a 41%. So I don't I don't know why that seems to happen. It's like the statues that I don't need, I always seem to get the perfect uh, percentages on. And the ones that, oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. He just pulled a chicken. The flamethrower said hello to uh, to the Sukas on the way back. So this was a great attack to, uh, to show off for Mr. Poing. Um, but he's been great. He's been there. He was there since day one. Um, he's been the most consistent player by far, and he's really good too. So I didn't. I don't. I don't mean to throw him under the bus by uh, uh, showing that uh, chicken esque attack that he had there. Maybe we'll find a good one later. Um, okay, so I think I attacked Tarsier on this one, and then he cleaned it up. Um, so Diesel, Diesel is. Uh, I want to. I don't want to say new. He, he's been around for a, a decent bit. Um, <clears throat> but, um, where's I, where's I going with that? He's, he's been around for, for a decent bit, and, uh, he's been really consistent when he's been here, so that's definitely huge. Um, I find, like, I, I want players more so that are, like, consistent as opposed to really good, and, like, you're not really sure if they're gonna log on or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it's nice to know that someone's actually going to be able to attack, uh, day in, day out in your operations, you can kind of plan for it, and, um, yeah, because we've definitely had guys that, like, come in and they're really good and then we get really excited it's like oh like you should um like you want to promote them or whatever and and, and get them to stay but then uh they end up leaving after like three days like they just don't say anything just leave it's like oh, okay like um that was kind of a waste because we could have brought someone else in that was like gonna stay here the whole time so uh i don't know so definitely uh diesel he's a bit of a lower level <clears throat> i think he's 58 but um since we run foxtrot uh stronghold and maybe like uh What's the one about Foxtrot? Is it Choke Point or Dead End or something? One of those. So, so since we, we run these kinds of operations, you don't need to be, like, completely maxed. As long as you have full offense statues or something, something close to that, 
and like level 20 landing crafts, then you're going to be fine. Um, you see right here, he was able to just absolutely blast through this base. I've never actually seen this done with Skuka, so that was pretty cool to see, actually. Um, usually we do it, or I try to do it all Zuka, and like, I, th I think we usually end up doing it in two attacks, so uh, this was definitely a nice solo, because usually we go up to the right and, um, like, flash kill the shock launcher or something like that, and then come back down and clear it out from there, so... Uh, shout out to the Dieseler on that one, guys. Um, and I think since we have so many guys with double accounts, is that everybody that we went over here? Who did we miss? So we got Bob, Jim, Kai, Kai. We got Diesel, Vuvu, Mac, Ludwig, and Mister Mister Point, guys. So I guess that's basically it for the chicken coop. And like I said, we we just hit 223 on the leaderboards. We're trying to get to top 100. That that would be the goal. But I mean, if we don't hit it, it's not the end of the world. It's not a big deal. Um, sure, I would like to get there. But it's not um, like the only. It's it's not like the only thing I'm concerned about. Like I'd rather have a fun task force full of good guys opposed to like um, a task force full of dicks that's really good but like annoying to play with, right? So, anyways, guys. Anyway, so we're going to be uh, diving on into uh, high five here. Now, hopefully, we can finish this unboosted. And when I say hopefully, um, if if we can't do if we can't finish this, um, then that's like, pretty embarrassing. We literally just have to walk the Zuka's left and not hit any mines. I don't think there's even. Um, that many mines to clear. Okay, so three artillery, what's that gonna look like? One, two, three, um, hmm, four, hmm. I probably shouldn't have tried that. I didn't think the mortar's gonna have that much health, that's crazy. Um, I don't know, we'll just, we'll just smoke left. So that was a, that was a waste of GB for sure, but, uh, that's okay. Alright, so I'm gonna throw a smoke down here, because I think that rock launcher is gonna be in range on that side. Two, three, can we get the z -Mod 2 smoker in here for once, guys, for once? Uh, nope. But we did get them all on that side, so that's good. Alright, so now next we're gonna flare up here, and I don't have to smoke or anything. Uh, we're gonna lose a couple of cannons, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, I'm not too, too worried about that, guys. So now that we have that, uh, locked down, we can go ahead and take out this mortar, because all once we get up there, we're gonna be fine. Um, so I'm gonna make sure we flare up here nice and tight. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bucket of critters down. Just to make sure that um, the boom cannons don't take too many of my Zookas out. Because, I mean, we have a, a pretty beefy shield to, to get through here. So, uh, we definitely want to make sure we don't just let the boom cannons completely pick us off. Alright, so we'll flare up like this. Uh, I'm going to throw another bucket of critters up there on that cell. Um, and I gotta say, the nice thing about playing this iPad is these operation attacks are much less nerve-wracking because usually I'm always worried, like, ah, oh, is the Wi-Fi gonna give out? Like, what's gonna happen here? Like, I never really know what's gonna happen. Uh, hopefully we can avoid those mines. I think we might pop one. That's okay. Um, so yeah, what do we want to do next here? I think we're just gonna flare up to the top and then finish from there, so... Uh, pretty straightforward, I guess. Not, not, not the most exciting operation attack I've ever done, but, um... I didn't want to go over uh, like a task force um, related video and then flood the operation, although that would be very fitting. Um, but yeah, all right. So we'll throw a med kit down to do absolutely nothing, and uh, and yeah. And I guess the the reason I haven't been showing a lot of operation footage uh, recently is because my attacks have just like straight up they just sucked and. Like, <clears throat> I know the, the chicken fails are kind of funny to see and everything, but, like, I I, 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 I don't want to just be known for the guy that just sucks at operations. Like, I, I want to be known for the guy that sucks at events, that sucks at player bases, and operations. Like, I want to have the whole, like, spectrum here, guys. Um, so I know it's imitation game today, so maybe we will, um, once we take this down, maybe I'll just go over, uh, like, stage 6 and 7 or something like that really quickly. Um, I haven't actually attacked it yet, so we're going to have to do a little hashtag chicken magic. But, I mean, there's no point in me showing, like, stages 1 to 5, right? When I'm just, like, using GBU and like, oh, like, look, imitation game, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, rah, 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 rah. So, we'll go ahead and do some chicken magic. And we will see what we can get done on imitation game stages 6 and 7. We'll be right back. Rack, rack, rack. Okay, so we'll pick it up from here, I guess. I just barraged down that flamethrower, and look at this, guys. Four boosted green statues. Best bases in the archipelago, for sure. Oops. Mm. That was a waste. Um, yeah, that's going to be fine. I'm going to go ahead and just use seven boats, Azuka's, just to, I don't know, do something different. Um, okay. All right, so we'll, we'll go ahead up here. And I kind of like using seven boats, especially when my Zookas are already kind of like half dead. And it's just like so easy to keep them together and under one smoke. Um, and like you don't always need all that firepower, right? Like stage six, imitation game, like 
20 boosted green statues. Like, it's not really going to be make or break um, by having a couple extra boats of Zookas. Okay. Oh, lost a flamethrower there. That should be it. We should be able to heal through it, actually. Uh, and boom, stage six. So shout out to, shout out to Tomches. Tomches? Tomches on that one. That's a strange name, guys. Okay, so let's see what uh, stage seven has in store for us. I haven't gotten anything for power stones. Um, we'll, we'll do a quick rundown at the end. Um, so let's see what stage seven has in store for the chicken today, guys. Um, all right, so we got, hmm. Mortar, shock launcher. I guess we'll do a GB attack first and take a couple of these things down. I won't do too many GB attacks just because it's kind of boring. But uh, we'll, we'll do one here and just kind of clear out this lane and uh, all the mines and stuff. And I think we should be in pretty safe position here to finish on the next one. Um, so we'll go ahead and just take that down, I guess, because I think that's actually going to bring down more HQ health than... Um, than it would be to actually uh, throw the artillery onto the HQ. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, dive on in. Lots of Chinese names too, I've noticed. They're like Japanese or whatever. Like it seems, um, maybe maybe that's like, just because the, more of the players are like that. What is going on behind us here? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll do this again with seven just for kicks or something. Um, all right, so we'll throw a smoke down there and one up there. Professional landing, guys. Professional landing with the chicken. All right, so we'll come up like this. And, all right, so we're smoking on up. Smoking on up. But, yeah, I think it's... I didn't look at the health, but, I mean... I'm sure there's just a ton more of boosted green statues somewhere. Actually, I don't know if I see any greens. Is there no greens on this base? Huh. First imitation game ever. No greens. That's crazy. Um, alright, so what do we want to do here, chicken? Uh, we'll go ahead and throw some critters down like that, and like this. Throw a couple medis down. And, one, two, as long as there's no shock launchers in range, we should be fine. Two, three, and four. So, stage seven goes down. Back, back, back! So that's the task force shoutouts, guys. Um, if you want to join the chicken coop, um, make sure that you join Chicklets. And um, we'll eventually see you from Chicklets and then get you up into the coop. And we, I, 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 I do try to rotate people in and out of the of the chicken coop. Like, say, if they want to take a break and not do operations or just relax for a bit or whatever. Um, and, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for the video today, guys. Uh, make sure to let me know down in the comments uh, what, what your task force is like, what you look for in a task force. Uh, are you enjoying your current one? Let me know all that stuff. Down in the comments, guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if it's interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh,